Good morning. It's 7.30 today. I don't want to be too loud in the corridor. So today, today we're going to talk about online mosaic art training st and stencil art training. And generally speaking, art training. What is this about? How does it work? And stuff like that. Okay? Is this okay? It's an important topic. Well, the point is, it is not a regular mosaic art course or something like that. It's more like intense knowledge sharing. Is this the right word? studio the guy my neighbors I have so cool neighbors you know he gave me this because I told him if they maybe have some cardboard stuff so I don't have to jump in a garbage at my apartment you know it's a complex and there's a big garbage corner so I don't have to struggle to find some cardboard stuff over there so they gave me this I can create a huge like you know a huge surface with this uh, cardboards and I can I can make a good work. I can make a big work. I don't I want to have it big like this. I I love big artworks. That's cool. Thanks, boy. But first, we need a coffee for sure. So I glued these things here on the back side of this cardboard to make it more you know stubby. You say in German? Oh yes. But it's still trying to bend. Oh no. I'm using the Nikon for to get a better sound, so it's more professional. And I'm using the Canon EOS something, a better visual, because it has, you don't have any problem with the focusing and stuff, it's doing everything in a good way. Okay, this is how the setup is look like. That's for the voice, that's for the, for the film. So, oh, cool, let's start the vlog. As you remember, yesterday I painted over some cardboards in black for no reason. And I've got this as a gift from a neighbor because I asked him if he had some, you know, some cardboard somewhere in his company and he gave me that. I will right now stick all these pieces together. I'm gonna tape them together and then I'm, I'm freezing. I'm freezing because I was sitting in front of this uh, heater for a long time and now it's damn cold. I don't want to pop up with a jacket. It look, looks very stupid. So, so as I said, we're gonna tape this stuff together and then we can see what we can do, what I can do. It will be, I guess, one, two, three, four. The fifth piece of my primitive mosaic art painting collection, which I'm preparing to apply them as a collection into art galleries worldwide to show my character in the name of art. It's necessary. I have to do this. The online mosaic and stencil art course that I've started on my website runs over Skype. You know, you need to visit www.ihantesa.com There is this online training. I will write the link description below. There are a lot of topics in the field stencil art and mosaic art. It's actually for professional people, for teenagers who wants to make a good living by selling and the art and by getting new projects in stencil and mosaic area. And there are some topics. There are also topics about how to make and edit a video. There are box topics about how to create a website by your own. There are a lot of stuff that you can find on YouTube and on blogs so you can read and how to make it, how to create a website and stuff. But there are some points which are people hiding kind of. There's no information about it. I just want to announce um, this online art training once again. I already have some appointments from people who are actually, you know, who are contractors who hired someone an artist or someone and made a mosaic together and they want to apply this right now on a fireplace for example that they don't know they don't know how to do it what kind of glue material or tin set or how to manage the process and mosaics in pool and there are a lot of technical stuff that I know it works more like and it's not like it's an art training but it's also consulting program generally in mosaic and stencil art okay I guess that's it for it's too 
too much blah blah for today. I'm just uh, have that willing to do something. I have no idea what will come out. In Mosaic mostly I knew what I'm gonna do. I knew already the end effect, the visual effect that I will see at the end of the work. But it's so exciting that doing the creating of things like this, you have no idea what will come out. You have no idea. Okay, let's start. I'm free. Before we start today's vlog, let's check out, take a closer look at the comments that we have got yesterday. So we have a comment from Patricia Nobrega Fransco, and Patricia says, Estou muito feliz com seus vídeos. Tulipa está me ajudando nos meus mosaicos. Means actually, I'm very happy with your videos. You are helping me with my mosaics. That's cool, that's cool. Thank you, Patricia. It's nice to hear. We have got uh, another comment from yesterday, which comes from M. Harris. Thanks for posting. Sachi has a beautiful, has some beautiful art. That's true. Sachi Art Gallery Online is where you can post your works and put up some prizes and write descriptions. It's good for the SEO, search engine optimization, and it's good to show up your work in some public places, which is, it's fine. We have to do that. So thank you, Harry. I said Harry, I'm Harris. Thank you so much. That's so exciting, look at this canvas. That's huge. Actually, the back side of the canvas that I've created, and I need to turn it around to start something. See, a lot of people ask me why I always shaved my arms. It's because of this. Otherwise, it will be painful. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I will glue in another cardboard piece, you know, to make it more stronger. This taping stuff was just to get the right dimensions and to right edge. One question, do you believe in accidentally, you know, non expecting things fits in the position, which will be, if you remember this I made yesterday, in yesterday's video, and this one that I created today, I, I glued them together, and look at this, it actually fits almost exactly by accident. That's amazing. So what I'm gonna do, it will be it will be quite huge canvas. I still don't know the sizes, but it looks damn big. What I really like, huge canvas and making things and huge canvas. Viewing huge canvas art, no matter what it is, it's satisfying to me. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna glue this also on this so I will have an exact huge canvas and still don't know what to do with it. Okay, I'm done. Look at this. It's huge. By the way, I'm also collecting this plastic water bottles that I use to make my coffee. You know what I'm saying? So I collect them and fill up them with water. They will make some pressure on the cardboard. Because of this gluing, you know, you need some pressure. Okay, what's forever? The bad news is I can't start with this because I normally wanted to make something with this piece, but I, but I can't do it right now. Anyway, it's a huge piece. Tomorrow it will be ready to work on 
on something. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. The camera is here for the sound. That other one is right here. I'm using my iPhone.